Hi, my name is Aaron Hinpill, and I will be presenting the Alpha Tiles project on behalf of SIL Mexico. Alpha Tiles is a literacy game app for Android phones that is currently under development, and SIL is a nonprofit serving around the world with a vision to see people flourish in community using the languages they value the most. SIL is currently involved in approximately 1,350 active language projects in 104 countries. Let's say you have created educational software or an app and you want to adapt it from English to other languages. And so you ask, how many languages are there in the world? There are some 7,117 living languages on Earth, and the top 100 most spoken languages in the world represent only 1.4% of the world's languages. Yes, they do represent 6 billion people, but there are another 2 billion people who speak the other 7,000 languages as their first language. In thousands of these languages, there is not a single literacy app. For these 2 billion people, learning to read in their local language is the gateway to learning their own language for engagement with their community and to eventually learning one of the top 100 languages for engagement with the world. As if the challenge were not daunting enough, there are many different writing systems around the world. Even for a simple spelling game, the world's different writing systems present numerous challenges. Okay, let's think about a third and final challenge. I work for SIL in rural Guerrero, Mexico, partnering with Mapa language communities. In these Mapa communities, there are kids that we can call Ana. Ana speaks Spanish at home because her parents speak Spanish, and so she starts kindergarten ready to learn to read in Spanish. Think about all of the amazing products for Spanish literacy that are being developed in the world. If those products reach kids like Ana, they will benefit greatly. However, I know very few kids like Ana in the Metpa communities. Then there are kids that we can call Beto. One of his parents speaks Spanish, but the other speaks only Metpa, and he primarily relates to his parents and grandparents and other relatives in Metpa. He will start kindergarten with some Spanish skills. There are more kids like Beto than Ana in the Metpa communities, but not many. Finally, there are kids that we can call Carlos. Both of his parents only speak Metpa, and he will start kindergarten with very minimal Spanish skills. In the Metpa communities where I have worked, the majority of the kids are like Carlos. Research shows that children who first receive some literacy instruction in their mother tongue will perform much better when they begin to read in a second language. What tools can we provide to kids like Carlos? With children in 7,000 other languages in similar situations, what can we do? In SIL Mexico, this summer we launched a pilot project called Alpha Tiles. We are hoping that this app will make some contribution toward the strengthening of literacy in minority language communities. We are excited about the possibility of creating the first literacy apps ever created for certain languages. Our goal is to create fun, engaging games for informal and self-directed learning. Let's take a look at the app and then return to how we are designing Alpha Tiles to respond to these three big challenges. Aro, Aro, Anglosti, Angra, Rovli, Rovli, Mani, Mani. Manho Buddha Piri Piri Gat Okay, let's reflect some on what we just saw in the demo. There are three related design concepts, minimal setup, a zero text interface, and a broad design. To start, we want to ask the question, what is the simplest package of build files required to make the app? Well, you definitely need a word list, and audio files, and image files, and for the typing activities we need to build an in-app keyboard based on a list of keys, and finally for the games we need game tiles. What are game tiles? They are just the individual tiles that each letter appears on. But for a word like child, we might decide we want to teach CH as a unit using a single game tile. So each language development team defines these features in their game tile list. Next, we use a zero text interface. The words on the left are easy to collect in any language. House, man, woman, tree. 
And of course, there's no game without these words. But look at the typical interface words on the right, settings, match hole words, etc. Translating these phrases into another language, especially when making one of the very first apps ever made in a language, is a very cumbersome process, and even after phrases are chosen, testing in the community often shows the phrases do not communicate well. And finally, broad design. With 7,117 living languages, we can't proceed one app at a time, incorporating all kinds of features particular to just one language. Our hope is to develop this app for many languages, but at the expense of not developing highly tailored solutions for each individual language. Who do we see this app helping? We're thinking primarily about informal education contexts, like the kids shown here, playing alpha tiles on their porch. Because this app will be promoted as a tool for informal learning, the right question is not what percentage of individuals have access to an Android phone, but rather, what percentage of households have an Android phone. Within an extended family, 12 different players can play the games and track their own progress. Alpha tiles can also be played offline, and an Alpha tiles app with 100 words will be less than 10 megabytes in file size. Let's summarize. There are three big challenges. The sheer number of languages, the diversity of those languages, and the diversity of language situations for each individual in each community. Our approach is to use a minimal setup with zero text interface and to focus on the broadest possible design, and we have the benefit of SIL's expertise in minority languages. Interested in collaborating? Now, you might think, well, I work in the U.S., and yes, I know there are dozens of languages in the U.S., but I'm not sure they are the languages that you are talking about here. There are actually some 650 languages in the New York metropolitan area, and these neighborhoods have even been mapped out. There are numerous opportunities to support minority language literacy initiatives all across the U.S. Wherever you are at, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you.